good, e good evening, everyone. Welcome to my presentation on client consulting. Just waiting for it to start. Otherwise, we leave. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> um, I focus uh, on growth and development of entrepreneurs and their businesses um, by coaching on strategy and organization as well as personal issues. Uh, shortly, client consulting stands for coaching with impact. So, as we just told, my name is Lisette Klein, and um, uh, I'm the driving force behind client consulting. Uh, I started coaching in 2009 for my life motto, life is too short not to live it. And in the summer of 2010, I started my own company, and as a coach, I'd love to be the spark that fires up your life. So um, why do I focus on entrepreneurs? That's because I recognize the characteristics and I also value them myself. Um, for example, the ability to create your own reality, ambition, uh, creativity, the ability to take action, focus, and self-esteem. Uh, I coach from a co-active coaching perspective. This sets the client, that's a big A, the agenda, of the client at the central point, what he or she needs coaching on, and that is held by the blue circle, the uh, relationship between coach and client. So the client decides what he or she needs coaching on, and the coach supports the client in this process. One of the three areas of collective coaching is fulfillment. Leading a fulfilling life means fully living your, um, your values and uh, your desires. So client consulting encourages you to really live up to your values all the time. Um, together we take a look at your future, a future where anything is possible. Um, so where will you be at? What kind of life will you be living? And what kind of advice would you get from your future self? By knowing this, you will know what is important to you and you'll be able to integrate it into your current life. We also focus on values. So what is it that you cannot be with? And what is it that you cannot be without? Um, well, by, by defining your core values, uh, you uh, will understand them and know what influence they have on your life. Another important aspect of uh, this is the uh, saboteur or gremlin. Uh, it hates everything that even reeks like change and it will say anything in its power to stop you from any unknown situation. It says things like, you're not good enough, that won't work anyway. It sounds familiar. As your coach, I, I recognize this inner critic and know how to deal with it. So the second principle of collective coaching is balance. Um, as an entrepreneur, you're often up to your ears in action. Uh, you have to make continuously choices and uh, sometimes you might even feel you don't have a choice at all, that life is running you. Balance coaching makes you conscious of the choices you have and gets you closer to your goals. Another important aspect of balance coaching is perspectives. You can have different perspectives on the same situation. For example, what you see here. Is it a Native American or an Eskimo entering a cave? Let's take another example. What do you see here? For example, um, what do you see? Lady face, what, what else could you see? Saxophone. So you, you can see both things and you write both ways. So once you know your different perspectives, then you can choose which suits you best. Uh, together uh, with your coach, you brainstorm on the possibilities for action on the subject and uh, you will develop a plan of action which you are really committed to. Um, this plan of action will be smart, measurable, accountable, so far familiar, but also resonant and thrilling. Um, then, after you've taken the action, or maybe even during action, uh, you'll learn what kind of effect it has had on the issue at the hand. Maybe it's what you expected, maybe it's not at all what you expected, but either way, you learn from it and you know what to do or what not to do in the future. The third principle of coactive coaching is process. Imagine your life as a river. Sometimes it's always in flow, but sometimes it's quite slow, almost standing still. Other times it's running fast, past rocks and over waterfalls. So your life is just as turbulent. With process coaching, it's about accepting and dealing with the place in the river where you're at. So what is here now? What is going on inside you? Forget about what happened yesterday or a week ago. Forget about where you should be an hour from now or next week. 
All that matters is here and now. Okay, so we also go deeper into your experiences with process coaching. Imagine you have a very heavy workload. Where do you feel this workload? And what about this workload is wearing you down? I let you fully go into this workload experience. And once you hit rock bottom, you are able to move on. Of course, it could also be that you're over the moon because you've just contracted your first client. Um, what is that like for you? As a coach, I let you fully experience this success. And um, after your top experience, you're able to integrate it into your life and focus again on what needs to be done. Then the final principle of the process coaching is defining your life purpose. What is it you really want to do in life? Where do you want to make a difference? We try to put this down into a metaphor that resonates with you. In this case, for example, it could be, I'm the plug that protects the environment. So, so far we've talked about all kinds of different aspects in my coactive coaching practice. Um, of course, I'll integrate all the skills and tools in every session and you as a client decide what you need coaching on and this issue will have an effect on your whole life. I as a coach try to guide you and lead you to a more fulfilling and successful future. So thank you all for your attention. Uh, I hope you come see me after the presentations. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them for you. And uh, I wish you all a very successful entrepreneurial life. And I hope to be part uh, of your journey to the top as your coach. Thank you. Good evening.